All right, what is going on YouTube? This is gonna be my first steps to adjusting my running form. All right, what is going on guys? Um, today's Friday doing a little bit of a different thing. I actually got a comment on one of my videos recently um, about heel striking. And while I don't feel that I, like it doesn't cause pain or long-term, well, that's a silly way to put it. It doesn't currently cause me pain the way that I run the overall economy. But I will say that like, obviously long-term, I think A, it could cause injury and B, my general form could um, like currently I'm wasting energy basically running a certain way when I could be running more efficiently. What I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna go out for about two miles um, on pavement in shoes, and then I'm gonna get back to this spot. Then I'm gonna jump on the grass, do some barefoot stuff, do some barefoot squats, barefoot lunges, and honestly just spend a lot of time on my quads. And the two miles um, before and after that, I'm also just gonna be really focusing on not heel striking. Um, you know, landing right on my forefoot, hopefully right underneath my torso. And hopefully if I at least do this once or twice a week, um, it's gonna be what makes that little bit of difference in slowly changing how I run. Uh, these things definitely don't happen overnight. Um, and like I said, I haven't had any like real pain um, or like injuries due to the way I run, but long-term, obviously if I wanna be faster, um, I need to be as efficient as possible. So I'm gonna get out on the two miler. We'll get back, we'll do some of the barefoot stuff. Um, and then we'll do another two miler at the end. At the end, so we'll probably end up, I don't know, maybe five, five and a half miles. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So I just ran 1.96. Um, honestly, when I sped up, I feel like I can run like with appropriate form. But when I slow down, it tends to be where um, I struggle um, with even just landing on a certain part of my foot. Um, the slower I go, I feel like the more I want to sit back on my heels. Um, one thing I noticed towards the end is a little bit more control I would say over where I was landing because when I really tried and I'm going quite a bit quicker I almost feel like I'm landing on my toes whereas once I'm focusing on it for that like 15 minutes or so I feel like I was able to kind of dial it back and land at least on kind of my mid foot um, slightly more on my forefoot um, and then I felt more stable and then I felt like I could control myself um, with better form at a slightly slower pace rather than having to go all out and being up on the balls of my feet. Um, yeah, and then just focused on really driving my knees up, um, which is definitely kind of hard because we did the tempo run yesterday, but uh, yeah, there's some good progress. So I'm gonna sit down, um, take my shoes off here, run around on the grass a little bit. Um, hopefully that helps with some form. We'll do some squat stuff, um, and then we'll go and do another, you know, almost two mile. So. All right, so I just did three sets of uh, 20 lunges and 20 squats. Um, so 60 lunges, 60 squats. Gonna go out and do another two mile, really focusing on getting my knees really high up and planting right underneath my torso um, and trying to have um, a foot strike 
more towards the middle of our forefoot. Those are the goals. Let's get out there. The bugs are kind of killing me. Next time you see me, I think, I think back in the apartment. That'll be that. Real buggy. All right, so at this point, I've had an opportunity to look back at some of the footage um, that I just shot out there. And basically, there's some good things, there's some bad things. Um, some of the good things is when I am paying attention to how I am striking, I feel like the heel striking um, is not nearly as prevalent and it is more of a mid-foot strike. Um, another positive i would say is that often when my foot is finally making impact with the ground um, my shin is often pretty close to being perpendicular with the ground which is always good um, and i would say one negative i would take away is just that my foot kind of tends to land slightly in front of my torso um, which you really i think want to be landing directly underneath your torso you want to kind of be landing straight from your heel to the top of your head all in one alignment um so that being said i mean some positive takeaways some negative takeaways um there's always going to be room for improvement but like this like i said this is something that's going to be kind of a long process this is going to be something that i'm going to check in with more routinely now um, i do think that in general the barefoot running is a good thing for anyone to do out there if you feel comfortable doing it if you have a good space where you're, if you have local soccer fields or football fields that are well maintained that's a great place to do it that's where i did it just a place that you know you're not going to be stepping on you know pebbles or broken glass or something like that so yeah I think the barefoot running is really great um, in general. Um, some things I probably need to work on physically is probably some core and back. While I do feel like I am genuinely relatively fit or like full body fit, um, there's always going to be improvement. And when running, your core, your back um, is so important. Basically, this is all an intention to uh, avoid any sort of future injury. Um, nothing's come up yet. I think due to this, who knows? Yeah, so I think that's a pretty rambled takeaway of my first intentions um, for working on my form. I'm not gonna say fixing it, but I'm gonna say everyone um, can probably take some time, film yourself while you're running, take a look at your stride, your gait, how you're striking, whether you're getting your, your knees up high enough, whether you're really reaching out in front of you, all things to be aware of um, for any runner at any level. That being said, yeah, hopefully you got some out of this video. Please stick around. Uh, hopefully my form continues to evolve. Hopefully we keep adding on the miles. Um, I'll just throw this out there again. Uh, thanks again to everyone who has been, who is a new subscriber, to anyone who has been a subscriber and has been watching for a while. I've been uploading to YouTube for a couple, for years now. I'll just say years now. Um, and yeah, just in the last couple of weeks, I will give most of the attention to the endorphin speeds. I think they really have been a point of interest for a lot of people who are stumbling upon the channel. So hopefully some of you stick around. And that is going to be all for today. See ya.